Hey what's up guys this is Mainak and today we will discuss some basic rules of Tripura building rules. So if you want to construct a building in Tripura and if you are falling in any of the municipal corporations like the Agatala municipal corporations you need to follow some rules and we will discuss some basic rules and uh, let's see and go ahead. So let's before you know discussing the rules let's see what are the type of you know drawings which we commonly see in a you know in a building plan. So we have the uh, you know site plan which we see and the site plan and along with the septic tank location and water uh, you know water treatment plan or you know this rain water harvesting uh, unit description and then we have the obviously we have the floor plans when where the description of the rooms are given staircase parking locations and in the site plan uh, itself we have the uh, you know offset area that is the uh, open spaces which you have to leave in the, in the site and in the front and in the rear which is at the back so what are the rules for this we also discuss this and uh, then we have the uh, you know elevation you can see this is the front elevation very simple front elevation then you have the sections here uh, both way sections you can give it's preferred okay so sections you can give and uh, then some basic sections of rain water harvesting and all and then the structural drawing comes then you have the column uh, column layout and column schedule and then you have the footing layout and footing schedule and then you have the footing details and then beam beam layout and beam schedule for the clean beam and roof beam and then the uh, you have the slab details and then you have the staircase details so basically you have the architectural details structural details uh, in the plan so that the building can be easily executed by the engineer in charge at the site okay so let's see what are the uh, basic rules or the building rules available so uh, let, let us discuss some important points. So, I have just uh, listed some page numbers here. So, we will go to page 10. So, first uh, point is the uh, height of the building. So, height of the building uh, is, uh, is a confusing term for, for people who don't know. So, just simply I, with the help of a diagram, I will show you what is the height of the building here. Uh, so, suppose this is the uh, this is the front elevation of the building. So, this is the ground level and the height of the building will be Three, uh, four point, uh, point four five meter plus three meter plus three meter okay so the total height of the building will be three plus three six and six point four five if the headroom or the staircase room or the mountain room whatever whatever you call it is up to two point four meter the height of the in the height of the building this will not be included okay so staircase height will not be included given that it is up to two point four meter so the total height of the building will be 6.45 here so if there was only one story the height of the building would be 3.45 so height of the building is measured from the ground level that's what is trying to say so let's move on to the next point which is the uh, 32 from this pdf so this is very important which is the distance from electric line so if there is any if there are any electric lines uh, going in the road uh, in front of a building or behind a building your building uh, slab roof slab should be 2.5 meter uh, you know at a vertical distance and 1.2 horizontal uh, distance so vertical distance means you know like this this is uh, top and bottom and horizontal distance means the actual distance which you see from the top so actual distance between let's say the electric line and the building roof should be 1.2 meter so horizontal clearing clearance and vertical clearance is given uh, from the electric lines okay so let's move on and see the next point which is the 34 so ground coverage so when you purchase a plot you cannot uh, construct a building or you cannot design a building in the entirety of the plot so plots up to 200 square meter you can uh, use up to 70 percent and the, the building is not residential then you can use up to 50 percent and for above 200 meter you can use up to 60 percent of the plot so suppose if say uh, the plot size is uh, 250 square meter and then uh, and you are constructing a residential uh, building then or any any type of building 200 square meters means it will be about 200 square meter then you can construct in 60 percent of the area that is 150 and remaining 100 square meter you have to leave it alone so that's the rules okay so let's uh, check the next rule uh, next important uh, rule for the buildings here which is page number given in page number 35 only the maximum permissible height of the building so height of the building we know it is taken from the ground level to the topmost floor excluding the staircase so height of the building is dependent on the floor bits so when you are purchasing a plot if you want suppose you are planning for g plus 4 building the g plus 4 building means if you need to take a plane height of 0.4 then g plus 4 means plus uh, if, if you take 3 meter height of one floor and then it means 5 number of floors are there 5 3 the 15 so it will be 15.4 meter so for 15.4 meter height building 
you need to minimum select a, a plot with a, a means of access of 15 meter okay so that's how you purchase before you know purchasing the plot if you are planning to build, you know, construct a higher building then you have to take into consideration the road width so road width is important so generally for general consideration if the building is by the main road then you can construct any uh, height of the building but if the building is inside uh, then the means of access the, or the road width is less and then you have to uh, check this into account this is also amendment amendment is also done a uh, little bit of change is also done but this these are the basics here okay so uh, now the next important thing is the minimum open spaces okay so open space uh, by the way, uh, for the I'll just sh also show you the road here. So for for this building, the road of it was 3.3 meter. Okay, so 3.3 meter means uh, you can see the table. It will fall under the category of 2.4 and 5. The building height permissible is 10. So I can construct a two floor building there. But if I want to construct a three three story building, then also I can do. But if I want to construct a four story building, that's 4 into 3 goes to 12. So that I cannot do. So up to three story, I can construct in this particular place more than three story i cannot go in the 3.3 meter room like, uh, just telling with the help of an example so that you can understand now the next thing is the open space so open space rear front and everything i told you so open space is also dependent upon the you know height of the building so height of then the height of the building is also dependent on the road width so in a way then uh, the, the the open space is also dependent on the road width okay so these are related so if building is up to 14.5 meter 1.8 meter minimum is required let me see here you can see 1.8 meter i have kept here at the minimum distance it is a it is a tapered plot it is not straight line so 1.8 meter minimum is there but if you see here it will move okay so minimum 1.8 meter you would keep at the front and at the rear rear at the back side up to 8 meter if the building is 1.1 meter and 8 to 10 meter then it is 1.2 meter so you can see in this particular plot i have kept 1.5 meter 1.6 almost and at the sides you need to keep up to build uh, 1.5 meter sorry this not this one 1 meter height you need to keep for 8 meter height that is up to g plus 1 and if it is more than g plus 1 you need to keep 1.2 okay side that is there, there will be obviously two sides left side right side you can see minimum 1.2 have taken so like this you can take so another important consideration uh, you have maximum offset then there is a 38 there is a parking space so parking space is also very important 38 now this is the uh, minimum parking space requirement so if you have a residential building and if you have uh, uh, that is a covered area of uh, 70 to 100 or every part then you have to give a minimum you know uh, rest, you know parking parking for one car okay so covered area in square meter up to 70 you don't have to give parking if you don't give then it's also okay but if it's more than 70 then you have to give parking for one car so one typical car you have to give for so for every 70 or every 100 for every so suppose for every uh, every 100 square meter beyond 70 suppose the building is uh, let's say uh, you have covered area of 150 then 150 minus 70 is equals to 80 so for every 100 or part thereof you have to provide one means beyond 70 there is only maximum it is one so then you have to provide car spacing for one okay so like this you have to do so you can see here we have to provided the car spacing for one car in this particular parking so like this you can uh, these are the basic rules of the amc or the municipal corporation or the current also called the tripura building rules it applies to all the municipal corporations within tripura so if you want to see more of this uh, you know uh, topic and more of the rules of other states also you can just uh, leave a comment below and if you have any queries related to the building plan of tripura building uh, rules also you can ask me i'll try to reply or if the reply is large then i'll make a separate video on it okay thanks like subscribe bye